In part one, we talked about how the state of Iowa has the worst bridges in the country, with more than half being in either poor or fair condition. And there's a lot of money being poured into the problem from the state and the federal government. But we spoke to someone who says the big bucks only go so far. Well, there's not too many counties in the state of Iowa with bridges over $100 million. So a lot of these programs are not really geared towards the small local projects. County bridges make up more than 75% of all the bridges in Iowa, but city officials say there's a reason the bulk of money isn't trickling down to them. Half of those bridges that are considered poor on the local agency's roadways only see 35 vehicles a day or less. So it's very low traffic. The cost to benefit there of replacing a bridge for that low volume of traffic is very high. This could explain why it's so hard for Iowa to wipe its status as having the highest number of bad bridges. The cities uh, only own about 1,200 of the uh, overall 23,000 bridges, but they definitely have uh, a lot of the higher traffic volumes. While some funding does go toward the repair of the most expensive county bridges, the bulk goes to Iowa's most populated cities. Counties are then left to decide which bridges make the most sense to spend local tax dollars on. So poor bridges across the state remain. And while officials say they're not necessarily unsafe, one official on the county level has gotten creative in taking matters into his own hands. Stay tuned for the final part of this series.